hi guys welcome to cinema shared i'm a one as per usual okay today i want to kind of talk about something that came up during the weekend true story after i dropped the video eight nigerian comics you should be reading right now um a couple of people watched it and then they were like use your church mind and answer this question can guardian prime actually defeat superman because in the video i was like guardian prime is a better version of superman so they're like can guardian prime actually defeat superman the answer i gave them was yes depending on the superman if it's superboy prime guardian prime is not winning if it is superman prime 1 million guardian prime come on that's that's like superman in god mode so i don't see guardian prime winning that one however if it is the normal superman that is from golden age silver age new 52 rebirth superman guardian prime is can beat him now here's why in a lot of ways guardian prime is kind of like shazam just imagine a fusion between shazam and superman i think that is what guardian prime is his powers are derived from magic they're derived from gaia who is like the goddess herself yes he can beat superman because if we are being honest shazam can and should be able to always defeat superman before shazam was you know a dc character he was in faucet comics he was under faucet comics they were the ones that created him now i believe dc bought shazam because they knew shazam posed a legitimate threat to superman then it was captain marvel captain marvel's comics were outselling superman and this knew that if that went on captain marvel will become the new superman so they bought him and then they just put him in the back bench you know like they just made everybody believe he cannot defeat superman which is wrong because the powers that make up shazam solomon hercules atlas zeus apollo mercury individually most of those characters have defeated superman so how can all the powers rolled into one body not be able to defeat superman it doesn't make sense but that's just for another day i am still going to do that episode why shazam should always defeat superman but that's besides the point now guardian prime in a lot of ways is like shazam and like superman now if we break it down like in terms of raw power superman would come out on top because so far in the guardian prime comics we haven't seen him do something like extremely powerful his feats are awesome they're ridiculous but they're not like superman's level i mean superman bench pressed the earth for five days straight superman has one punch the planet destroyed it his breath blew out the solar system all these things which i believe guardian prime can do in terms of speed superman you know outclasses him because he's he has gone a million times the speed of light before and he can actually go fast enough to actually turn around time so superman edges him out there but in every other thing guardian prime should edge him out guardian prime has magic flowing through his veins and that is one of superman's greatest weaknesses i mean we've seen the likes of shazam we've seen the likes of black adam we've seen dr fate we've seen a whole lot of magicians take out superman with relative ease people who use magic can actually and should be able to take out superman on another side raw strength level i have seen or i have read guardian prime go up against a god before superman went up against atlas atlas embarrassed him superman went up against hercules hercules one punched superman with a punch, Superman went into orbit and was knocked out. But I've seen Guardian Prime go up against a god and actually break his arm like he was nothing. He literally defeated the god like he was nothing. And he just sent him back to his cage like, you know what, I am still the boss. Guardian Prime can reach hit levels of a blue star. Yes, Superman's lasers can be as hot as the sun. But a blue star is just as crazy and that increases his powers by an extra unlimited folds again in fact the thing that is killing guardian prime or the thing that is not making him seem as powerful as he should be is because he constantly doubts himself and he always lets his anger get the better of him 
but if he's calm and if he's ready to access his powers i don't see how any regular superman will be able to defeat him however if he's superboy prime or superman prime 1 million no i don't see guardian prime winning superman prime 1 million is like a he's a ridiculously op character like he's in the whole of dc he is the op op of all ops like he is that ridiculous superboy pride is on another level he took on the whole dc universe and defeated them so that is that tells you something about superboy prime i would say in a battle of 10 let me say 10 rounds guardian prime will win four superman will win three and they will draw three but let me know what you think actually i'm talking of regular superman not superboy prime not superman prime 1 million and not composite superman i'm talking of the regular superman new 52 superman rebirth superman that is the superman i'm talking about so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below do you feel guardian prime can defeat superman if yes let me know why if no let me know why and if you are new to cinema shade um don't forget to like don't forget to share this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell right beside it so you do not miss out on the amazing content we drop every week i'm iwan as and i'll catch you guys later we go be